going on guys? Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I already have my brush loaded here. This shave is not about the soap. This shave is not about the uh, aftershave. It's not even about the brush. <laughs> it's, uh, it's all about the razor. So we'll kind of get into some of that. Let me go ahead and start getting lathered here. As you can see, I have quite a bit of growth. That's for a reason. Um, we are using Ariana and Evans St. Bart's. Let me go ahead and get, uh, this is where I lathered uh, St. Bart's here. Let me go ahead and get what we have in there on the face real quick. So I have some things to talk about. Um, a, a razor to show you, a new razor. And uh, yeah. So we'll kind of look at things and it's somewhat of a hardware review, although, you know, it's kind of, um, subjective and and personal preference as far as what I'm going to be going over um, so but stick around for the ride so ever since I started using straight razors I uh, I always wanted a custom right um, and you know, I don't really have any expensive razors, as you guys know, or the people that watch my videos normally know, I don't have any higher end razors or anything like that. All of my razors are gold dollars. <laughs> I mean, even the naked armor straight that I have. Which has, you know, nice Coca Bola scales. Um, even that is a gold dollar, in my opinion. It's identical to gold dollars. I think they just kind of take them. It's the same exact grind. And I think they, uh, they just rescale them. So, yeah, I've always wanted a custom. So, uh, recently just been doing a lot of research on straights and uh, or on on custom straight makers and I settled on Jerry Stark you know, Stark razors and designs and emailed them and asked you know if he makes customs or which I knew he made customs but I didn't know if he had stuff like for pre for like pre-made for sale only or if he was able to actually make one for me and he emailed me back saying that, you know, he had nothing available currently. But that he could definitely get started on one for me. And from, from the first email until the razor was at my door was about mm, two weeks, two and a half weeks. And that was kind of emailing back and forth, going over what I wanted, that type of thing. And I'd say it's about 90% of what I wanted. Um... So one thing I wanted, you guys know I like the bigger blades. So we have that. And I'll kind of show you now. I'm done lathering. <clears throat> so this is it. It's a beautiful razor. There's no doubt about it. Um, but I'll show you kind of a, a couple of things. That I really like and then a couple of things that I don't. So this is the razor. Um, he comes engraved with, I think it says Jerry Stark. Yeah, Jerry Stark USA, 100% USA made. Right there. Um, these are carbon fiber scales, true carbon fiber. Not my typical, where is it at? Yeah, here it is. <laughs> you guys have all seen this. <laughs> my typical carbon fiber gold dollar <laughs> scales. This is real carpet fiber. Really cool. I told him that um, I did not want a smiling razor. I wanted it to just be flat. So that's perfect. I did want a wedge or a near wedge. And that's what this is. This is uh, I wouldn't say it's a full wedge, but it's it's definitely a near wedge, you know. Um, so very heavy grind on this. Um, the tang, the jimping, that's one thing that I would kind of like the, the top jimping I'm fine with, you know, it's perfectly fine, no issue there. The bottom jimping, I wish it was a bit more, um, 
like my, it's kind of slick, right? And if I get soap there, which I shouldn't, but you know, maybe a little bit of water or something like that's going to be very slick. So I just wish that were, that were a bit more, uh, close together, the jimping, you know, had a bit more grip. It doesn't, that's one gripe. Um, and these are all, like I said, like some people may not have any issue with that whatsoever. This is just my thoughts. So that's one gripe. And then the other, the only other gripe is the wedge. This piece right here. If you look on top, you can see it's kind of reddish. And if you look on the bottom, you can see it's kind of reddish, but that front facing is not that red. So I wanted carbon fiber scales and then I wanted a bright red, um, little wedge insert there. And on some of the pictures that he had uh, on his site showing other razors that had the red wedges, like it looked very red, like it was a bright red wedge. This, not so much. So I don't know what the deal with that is. You know, it is what it is. I'm not going to complain about it. Um, I'm just expressing what I like and dislike. Something that's really, really cool is he has actual torque. Uh, I don't know if that's Torx or if that's Hex, but little Torx or Hex heads, whatever that is. I think it's Torx, um, where you could tighten the actual pivot. So if it loosens up on you, you could easily tighten it. So that's really cool. So we're going to go ahead and start shaving. Uh, he, he does send uh, an Allen wrench or a Torx wrench or whatever it is to straighten that up. Um, this is 100% Jerry's Edge. Uh, he told me that it comes shave ready, so I haven't dropped this, I haven't touched this at all. This is my first shave with it. So let's see how it goes. And this is an 8 eighths, 8 eighths, meaning that it's very thick. And that's what I like. So let's see. I did tell him that I wanted a barber's notch. Which he did, obviously, right there. And I told him that I wanted a um, like a square tip, but I wanted the tip muted, and he did that as well. So that's great. I do have a couple bumps up here before I even started shaving. So if that bleeds. You could hear the difference here when I'm shaving with this and when I'm shaving with um, my gold dollars, which are like hollow ground. There's a lot more metal in this edge, obviously, since it's. Since it's a near wedge. So therefore, you don't hear very much. It's not completely muted, but you're not getting that, you know, knife on toast type of sound. And again, you know, the big blades, you can shave half your face, no problem. Um, as far as the edge goes, no issues. Uh, I, I really, it's, I mean, it's, it's cutting the hair. So as far as like it doing its job, it's absolutely doing its job. I won't know how comfortable it is. I don't, I didn't ask Jerry. I should have, I should have asked him what he finishes these on. The bevel looked good. I did look at it under my, uh,
I see the razor is a bit sluggish. Um, how do I describe sluggish? So it's cutting no problem, but it's not, um, and this is not an issue with the grind or with what Jerry finished them on or the razor itself at all. It's, it's the grind that I wanted. It's the, the near wedge or wedge grind. It has, um, since there's so much metal, it's contacting the face a lot. So it's kind of, there's really no way to, like, there's no word I know how to use <laughs> that sounds like what I, that, that comes across how I want it to sound. So I'm not going to use anything other than sluggish, but, um, yeah, it's just, it's not as, it's not as sharp, the angle. I think that's kind of how I want to say it, the angle of the uh, bevel. It's different than what I'm used to. So it's it's not having trouble pushing through the whiskers, but it kind of feels that way. Because there's a lot more metal touching the face due to the angle of the uh, grind. So, yeah, it's, uh, you know, there were, like I said, I, I looked through a whole bunch of different um, custom street makers. And, uh, you know, Jerry's the one that I that I went with. Everything's 100%. I mean, it's 100% American made. That was a big thing for me. Um, price wasn't necessarily an issue. But I do think Jerry is one of the lower. On price, but see right here, like you, you guys know, my my chin area is my my dense, very dense, and uh, kind of the area that I don't struggle with, but that razors typically struggle with. And this heavy grind is eating that up, which is exactly what I wanted. That's why I was in search of a near wedge or wedge to see if, you know, if it were able to just eat through that dense hair on the chin. And it is. It's doing it no problem. Yeah, but this is a massive blade. I'll show you uh, the blade itself in comparison to something else. But um, yeah, it's a it's a massive blade. my glasses back on to see a little better Yep. So what I want to know when I go this way on my chin is when it's really going to tell if if that heavy grind helps. I'll show you real quick a uh, a comparison. Let's see. Well, you. You've all seen this. This is this was the other biggest razor that I had previous to this one. This is the Frederick Curter. This is a 15 16th 
Uh, there's oil all on this, by the way. So if you see like a glimmering, that's oil. And then this is the Jerry Start 8 eighths. So there's a clear difference there as far as size. This one's a little longer. This one's a little thicker. So they both get the job done. I do think that um, the 8 eighths from Jerry will actually be a bit more efficient on the heavy part of my beard. Which again was the whole reason of me getting this near wedge. We're going to add some water to this and, and plume it up a little bit. So no real issue with the razor. I just, you know, like the, the wedge is the biggest thing for me. Um, I mean, I could deal with the jumping, but I feel like the wedge. I really wanted that red wedge. <laughs> and I'm sure if I, if I said something to Jerry, it would be perfectly fine. He wouldn't care. Or maybe he would. I don't know. But, um, again, it doesn't affect the functionality of the razor. So, we'll leave it as is. I will rock the boat. Oh, yeah, it feels good. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. And that you're safe and healthy. Oh yeah, it's it's definitely pushing through my the thickest part of my beard, no problem. Which is kind of what I thought, which is kind of, you know, why I wanted this type of grind. We'll be using some 4711s today for the aftershave, 4711. <laughs> 
It's just annihilating the group. Absolutely annihilating it. Nice. Cool. So one little, I clipped myself there a little bit, but nothing big. Perfect. Overall, it's a winner for sure. Again, um, the only things I have problems with are, again, just, just I mean, the, the main thing is the ground. Um, the main thing is the wedge that's in there. Not completely red like I really wanted. But, again, it's fine. Doesn't hurt the functionality. And then the jimping on the bottom. Um, I had no problems there with, you know, losing grip on it or anything. Well, as you can see, it took care of that, uh, took care of that growth, no problem. We're going to use this. Legal file likes it. Ah, rose petal. Ah, I don't know. I kind of like the cucumber. I think he said he did not like this one. I think there's a lemon one. Um, and then I have the, I, I went through a whole bottle of the lavender. Um, so I definitely like the lavender. But I don't know, like, you know, they're both flowers, right? Rose petal and, and lavender. I don't know. I just feel like lavender is more, lavender is more up my alley than rose petal. Either way, though. Either way. We're finishing up with 4711, so it doesn't matter. Check it out. 4711. This is such a cool color, too. I think it's that it's that light blue, I don't know, um, kind of tealish, kind of. But just a cool light blue, man. I like that color. If uh, if this is like a specific color, that's my favorite color. I like that. I don't know what it is. I just like it. All right. Oh, man, this scent is awesome. This scent is awesome. Oh, it's cheap too, guys. This aftershave is cheap. If you don't have 4711 and you like citrus, pick this up, please. If you like citrus, th this is very citrus heavy. Oh, man, 4711 is awesome. Whew. That's the shave. Hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, I hope everybody's happy, safe, uh, and healthy. And uh, yeah. I'll see you next shave. Jerry, I don't know if you're going to watch this video or not, um, especially this long. Uh, but if you are, I love the razor. Um, like I said, the little things, they're more aesthetic than actual uh, performance-wise. So, um, yeah, it's a great razor. Absolutely did a great job. And uh, I appreciate you, brother. Thanks.